What's up everybody? This is Easy CNC. We will be doing some easy uh, counter wars today. Um, we'll have some design, tool pass, and speeds and feeds in this video, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start by drafting just a simple rectangle by sketching it, adding in our dimensions. Looks good. We'll extrude it up a bit. Two inches, okay. Now we are going to sketch some counterbores on the top face. About halfway down. Over 1.25, okay. And keep in mind this isn't a planned part. This is just trying to show off some simple counterbore tool paths. Okay, 0.75. We'll do two of them. Over 1.25, okay. All right. Now, to finish that, now we will extrude those two circles by clicking on them. We can extrude and we'll go down about, about half an inch, yeah, that works. Now, we're gonna go back to sketch and we're gonna select those bases down in there. Okay. And we'll snap to the middle and make a through hole through this block. About 400 thou, I think, yeah. Okay, finish sketch. We'll extrude them one by one. That's probably the easiest way. Okay, back to sketch. We'll get this other one through. Snap to the middle, 400 thou. Back to extrude, select the circle. Minus two inches, we'll make sure it's cutting. Double check, it looks like we got two through holes and two counter boards. Okay, ready to manufacture. So we're going to pretend this block is 1018 steel. And we're going to have to set this thing up first before we go any further. Set the stock to zero. Put coordinate on the edge. Make sure our X, Y, and Z are all facing the right direction. That looks good. Okay, so this is 1018 steel. So we're going to do a helix bore because that's it's really easy on the end mill much easier than just plunging down and, and tearing through it point three seven five that'll work three eight end mill now we're just gonna select those counter bores just like that. Now we're going to add some speeds and feeds. The website we use is easyspeedsandfeeds.com. Type in some of our info. We'll pretend this is a fourth fluter. Okay, that looks good. Back to Fusion, type in our info. Yep, that's about 16 inches a minute. Set those all to 16. Looks good. 
Now we need to spot drill those holes. Now we're gonna create a spot drill that is, you know, bigger than the than the through hole. That's important. Half inch should work. Tool two, that's okay. Now we'll just select the two holes. As you can see, it wants to go all the way through. We don't want that. We want it just to make a nice spot. So we're going to click on two chamfer width, and we'll go about 10 thou. That will make a nice lead in for our drill and leave a nice chamfer. Now time for some speeds and feeds for our 1018 block. by drill, okay. I'm gonna type in our info. Okay, that all looks good. Back to Fusion. All right, nine inches a minute, okay. All right, we'll double check, make sure it's doing okay. It's going to just go down a little bit. That looks good. Now we need to drill it. We create a tool. Select the drill. Right there. 400 thou. We'll just make that three inches. It really doesn't matter at this point because we're just this is a make you know make believe part. But okay, so we're gonna select the whole faces. Now we're gonna make sure it goes all the way through by giving a little nice minus offset. Okay, now time for some speeds and feeds. Type in our info. Okay, that looks good. We'll go about six thou. Okay, so four inches a minute. Alright, we'll get type our info now back in fusion. Okay, now we're going to do a chip breaking cycle. We'll go down about 50 thou per peck, and we'll let it retract up after about 200 thou. It's about half the diameter of the drill, so that's that's a that's pretty good. Okay, that looks good. Last thing we gotta do, okay, so it's going all the way through, that's good. Last thing we gotta do is add a chamfer for that first milled hole we did. Always wanna make sure everything's nice and chamfered, especially on steel. You can get very sharp edges if you don't chamfer it. Okay, chamfer mill quarter inch about four. Oh, that's not right go about one inch there five thou tip diameter pretty basic tool four that works now we will select those two that that's looking good speeds and feeds time just type in our info Pretend it's a four fluter. Four thou, that's about right. Oops. Four thousand two hundred two RPM, sixteen inches a minute, okay.
Set these all to 16. Let's have a plunge to 10. Okay, that's looking good. We're going to now simulate it. Here we go. First up, we got our Helix Bore. This is Helix Bores are really good for extending the life of end mills. Just plunging will will beat up the tips of the end mill. So this is good. Okay, now we're on to spotting. Now it is drilling. 50 thou per peck and then retracting at about 200 thousandths down. Okay, that's looking good. And next will be chamfering. Okay, that's about it. Our part's all done. That's a little simple counterbore tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know what you want to see next and uh, be on the lookout. Thanks.